I first began experiencing symptoms as a young teenager. I can remember having to go and have scans and they would say I had gastritis or IBS. In 2009, I went to the ER with a attack and they said it was gallbladder and they found my gallbladder was diseased and removed it. And six months later, I was back at the hospital with another attack and that's when they discovered I was having pancreatitis. The pancreatitis attack is painful. Um, pain like you, you've never had. You just kind of curl up in a ball. After the second attack, I lost 50 pounds in four months. For four years, I'd go out to social events and I couldn't eat. You could just feel that you were a downer. I ended up at OSU Medical Center because my doctor referred me here for a specialist. Probably about three years in, it became pretty clear that the pancreatitis wasn't going away and they started talking about what kind of surgery I would need. And I felt a strong family history, so I urged them to do genetic testing and they did find a mutation in the cystic fibrosis gene. And that helped because then it became clear that I would need the total pancreatectomy. Today I am feeling much better. I'm there for my son when he graduates. I know I'll be there. I would recommend Ohio State to have the total pancreatectomy done because you're gonna need more than just a surgeon. You're gonna need a team of doctors. And I know to this day that whole team still meets to discuss how I'm doing and what is the best course of care for me.